Well, the rising condemnation of Moore and numerous Hollywood celebrities is many people asking where this outrage was 20 years ago. Bill Clinton was the president then. A ton of people hit him with sexual misconduct allegations. A lot of them seemed believable then and now. Clinton survived in a big way because Democrats and feminists rallied to his defense. Juanita Broderick accused him, so did Paula Jones. But they were dismissed as bimbos and floozies and liars and losers and secret right-wingers, which they weren't. While Bill Clinton was defended as a supporter of feminist causes, especially of abortion. Christy Setzer is a feminist and president of New Heights Communication, and she joins us tonight. So you're not going to hear me say, Christy, that, you know, only liberals sexually harass or only conservatives, you know, it's a hum you know sin's a human problem. Mm -hmm. But the difference is, so Roy Moore is accused of this stuff. I don't know the truth of it, but I know a lot of Republicans, including the president's daughter, are attacking him, like flat out attacking him. Um, and some are defending him. When Bill Clinton got accused 20 years ago, in, I think, a much more credible way uh, of much worse things, including forcible rape, he was defended in the New York Times by Gloria Steinem and the entire feminist establishment. And it, that seems a meaningful difference to me. And I wonder if, in retrospect, that's regrettable. I, I do think it is regrettable. I think that um, when you look back at what happened 25 years ago with the hindsight that we have now, and particularly this national collective moment that we're having where, we're, where women are you know, coming out of the woodworks to finally be able to tell their stories of being sexually harassed, sexually assaulted, being even raped, um, I, I think that we would see his story and his behavior towards women a lot differently than we did at the time. But again, we have this benefit of Why? seeing it in a different way. Well, I was, no, because I'm pretty old and so I remember it really well. That was 30 years after the yeah. feminist revolution. That was after we got like a two-year-long lecture about sexual harassment with Anita Hill and Clarence Thomas, where no physical contact was even alleged. People were exquisitely sensitive about it then. The no means no thing. I was in college, you know, yeah. 10 years before. I remember it really well. That's not why he got a pass. He got a pass because he vetoed two partial birth abortion bills. Yeah, and I think it was also 25 years ago. I mean, look, I, I really do think that there is a very big difference right now. You have Mitch McConnell coming out and saying, I believe these women about um, Roy Moore. And that's not something that you would have seen, I, I want to say, even a year ago, five years ago, right? If there's going to be a difference, I think, it's that there are still people who rally around these Republicans who have committed multiple sexual probably have been accused of multiple sexual assaults, right? Donald Trump is the president. Roy Moore is still his party's nominee. You look at a more contemporary example on the Democratic side, like let's say Anthony Weiner, he's in jail. Well, I don't know. Ted Kennedy, the lion of the Senate, killed a woman and left her to drown in a car. No one disputes that. He was drunk driving. He went off the bridge. He never even reported it, okay? When he died, it was only 2009, HuffPo, Huffington Post ran the story, quote, why Ted Kennedy, uh, what would Mary Jo Kopechny, the woman he killed, have thought of Ted's career? Answer, maybe she'd feel it was worth it. That was 2009. HuffPo's when they making the wrote case. That, talking about an incident that was happening in what the 60s. I mean, again, we're talking about a very, no, very he served different until time. He killed a woman and served until 2009. Mm -hmm. That whole period, he got adulation from feminists because he was for abortion, and they ignored the fact that he actually killed somebody. Roy Moore is on the ballot today in 2017, right? So I, I think we can go back and we can talk about how people did bad no, things. This was the, the past, other day. But, it was Ted Kennedy. Yes. I'm, look, my only point is, look, yeah. and I think, and I said it last night in the show, I think there are people who are willing to make excuses for Moore for political reasons. I just think that's wrong. Sure. Yeah. I do. I think you should assess things on the facts, okay? Yeah. I'm accused of something. Don't tell me some other. I don't want my kids to get away with that crap. Just answer the question, right? Right. But I'm just saying we've got a decades-long history of the left putting politics ahead of women. And, like, I don't want to have to pretend that's okay because it's not okay. It's not okay. And it's not okay when the right does it as well. And I think that we should be able to have an honest adult conversation about the fact that right now sexual harassment and sexual assault are pervasive in America, that women have been hurt by it for a very well, long time women, and continue there are to a ton be. Of men and many men claiming. as well. Absolutely. Right. And many men as so well. So, why do we have anything so, in America named after Ted Kennedy? Really? That's <laughs> no, it's a sincere question. Sure I don't know why. I mean, <laughs> Harvey Weinstein's name has been stripped out of you know whatever the, yes. the Directors Guild or no? Yes, it's a sincere right. question. You kill someone, 
a woman who you're taking advantage of, do you get to have your name on things now? I think that you are seeing men face very different consequences today than they did even 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago for the same sorts of behavior. And I think that's a great thing for women, right? I think that it is a hugely positive step that now women feel comfortable to say, I expect better behavior from my politicians, from my boss, from my friends. Um, so, and again, I think that's something where Democrats and Republicans are certainly guilty of this behavior and can come together and have an honest L Last, last question. I mean, you obviously, I'm sure, believe in due process. This is not quite related, but I, I keep thinking about it recently. Sure. Is it okay to anonymously accuse someone of a crime, any crime? Is it fair for me to say, you know, you've been accused of bank robbery. I'm not going to say which bank is accusing you. Um, are you talking specifically when it I'm comes saying to you, you read these cases where people are accused anonymously of things. Right. And it just seems like that's not what justice is. Justice is getting to face your accuser and account for what you're accused of yeah, doing. But that hasn't happened here. I mean, for example. No, it hasn't. It ha but you've seen it yeah. in the last couple of months. Is that okay with you? I'm just wondering. I, I think that you need to look at the reason why someone would accuse someone anonymously. It would probably be because they are afraid of the retribution that they might face in coming but Why would a media, oh, yeah, I get it, I actually yeah. understand that, but why would a media company print the name of the accused but not of the accuser mm -hmm. before it's even gone to court? We don't know actually what happened, but we're basically declaring one person guilty and shielding the other from public view. Why would we do that? Again, are you talking about Roy Moore? No, no, I'm not talking about Roy Moore. Yeah. No, I'm not. But there are a lot of people to whom this is happening. Is that okay with you? Um, I, I expect, and you are a media person, so yeah. I think you know how these how stories, when they get to print, you know, there's a fairly um, extensive process by which, um, you know, reputable news organizations go through uh, <laughs> before they actually put something in I've been in, in this print. too long. The reputable ones are the most corrupt. <laughs> I've seen it firsthand. Christy, thank you for that. Thank you. Good to see you.